Hi, I'm Annie Murray. I'm the Rare Books and Special Collections Librarian, and I'm going to take you into the vault. First of all, it's just fun to go somewhere called a vault. <laughs> the vault is sort of a catch-all term for a climate-controlled space conducive to preserving library and archival material for as long as possible. We don't usually tell people where the vault is just because it's a high-security area. However, it's nearby. <laughs> The University of Calgary collects a lot of archival materials, so original letters, diaries, photographs, recordings, architectural drawings, rare books, anything that would be too fragile to be circulated or that we believe this is special in some way and we want to preserve it for future researchers. So today I thought I'd show you some of my favorite items from our vault, specifically from the book collection. And you'll see that there are different conditions and ages and types of materials that go into books that are in special collections. So the first item is the great English novel Middlemarch by George Eliot. It's called Serialized Fiction. It came out serially. You would get part one and then two months later you would get book two until part eight. So it would take 16 months to figure out what happened at the end of the story. Interesting, George Eliot was a woman and wrote with a male pseudonym. Sometimes a book has a little secret in it. So this is the poetical works of Sir Walter Scott. But when you carefully move the text block, a painting appears. So this is called a four-edge painting. This book we always love to show students. You can see why students love this because it's so worn, it's been well used, because it was a reference book for looking up information about plants, the uses of plants, and it has hand-done illustrations of the plants throughout. And then in the final section, there's a guide of all kinds of animals. They're more uh, mystical version, they're called bestiaries, they have animals that may or may not exist. So in this one, there's even a unicorn. So it's like a reference book, but like, is everything true? From manuscript culture, when we talk about medieval manuscripts, they're original handwritten works and illuminated manuscripts are extensively illustrated. And so you would have experts in writing in script and artists who would create the little initials and these beautiful full-page paintings. Book of Hours are private devotional books. A lot of handwriting in this, this person's personal prayers, but then the actual Book of Hours is on vellum. Vellum is calf skin. You see the story of their use over time. This book has obviously been well used and well loved. It's really exciting to get to know researchers who are doing really original work. It's great to be a place that can help people do really original scholarship. 